Hello, hello, all you beautiful people. It's Dora. Indeed. Indubitably. Dora, that yarny zebra. In the house. Working up some new mask patterns. Yes, I have been on a mission to mask for a while. And this is the uh, newest that I have sewn. Sort of looks like a little bonnet type of um, fabric. It's not a bonnet. It is the cute little mask that you create by using a dinner plate. I have a dinner plate here that <laughs> was created by my sweet girl in 2000. Long 20 years ago, y'all. So, this is a, oh, someone put it in the microwave at one point and it sort of bubbled it, bubbled it, but this is that Sunlight Christian Preschool London, Kentucky um, plate. Now, you do not have to use a plate. If you have some yarny goodness um, templates laying around, or as I have a loom here that I used to as a pattern. You put your fabric down and you cut around it. And I have made myself two pieces for uh, my mask. And you just laid your fabric down and Put this down and cut around it. I'm just moving this back so that you can see. Sorry. Uh, the yeah, it's the outside edge. So you you cut that circle around all the way the perimeter, and you have these left. These little pieces here that you had left. They are going to be put to use. Um, this was the circle that I had all folded up. Well, I'm going to do one at a time, see if you can see that. If it was still a complete circle. I'm going to just bring this this way. This is my circle that I folded. This part, and you'll see that fits right in there perfectly. Just give me a jiffy. So basically, when you fold it, that part goes back here. So when you take and cut that out, <laughs> interesting I'll put it back the way it was supposed to be yeah so this is where that came from this is your full circle that's been folded and then you take your measuring device that I hope is still visible didn't run away yeah 
This is my little measuring device. Turn it this way. And I measured in six inches, I mean six centimeters, one, two, almost two and a half um, inches. Just mark it right there. And you see that's where it's cut. <coughs> This one was 10, so 6 centimeters, 10 centimeters. And then you take your round and move this down a little bit so we can get it in focus here. You just take that and you went from one measuring dot to the other. And then you cut that off. So now that we've done that, I'm going to take this. And this piece, I'm just going to fold it. Yes, this is uh, a little more time consuming than the other mask that I have been working on. But you can you can see that this needs to be checked to see if it is the right size, the right corners touching. Those corners need to be lined up right there. And I already trimmed this, so it it's as about as good as it's going to get. Yeah. And turn it this way. Because what you want is you want this part to line up with that part. Everything's going to line up in here. And you pin it, just pin this with this with your just pin that down and um, get ready to sew. There, there's you're going to have both pieces together, but I'm just giving you how you make sure that the inside out is up and the outside is on the inside so whenever you get finished sewing it and you go to turn it inside out um, you'll have the right sides together like so okay so we're getting ready to um, put this together and get it in the machine but like I said, we're going to go back to putting these two together so that you will see where we are. That will be together. But you're just going to work on getting your corners in the right place. And this one, I I have taken this and ironed it, and it fit so perfectly. But on the other hand, when you look at it, where I ironed it, it's still got a crease, and that is visible. I was not really pleased by that. I don't have one of those teeny tiny irons that I can get that crease out of there um, with. So I'm not ironing this one. Um, my safety pins are over here so come with me as we come up to the machine. Excuse us. 
my chair does not like living on the carpet. So I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to turn this on so you can see how this is going to work out. i go for my pins so that you can see how it's going to be. are just going to be pinned together. What is that? It's a blue mark of some sort. Hmm. I'm not going to use that. Don't think I want to use that piece. Hmm. I'll get one. Oh, I just bopped the tripod. You guys, please forgive me. This is the day after. I just turned off my infusion stuff. You hours ago so I'm a little shaky I know I should probably still be in bed let me pull this down so you can see where I'm pinning it pin that and then this part needs to be pinned to this part Get that pinned. I'm looking above the recording device, so uh, you're probably missing some of my pinning, and I apologize for that. Now we're in the screen, so all right pick this up and bring these two together a little bit closer I got my machine threaded and it is prayerfully ready to go I'm gonna lift that presser foot okay so we're getting ready to do this thing y'all I'm so excited bring my device up there you go so you're not just looking at nothingness get that nice and under there I'll go ahead and start that and you know this is just like a little crescent not totally a crescent like a crescent moon but you can see where I'm working this so we're gonna get started I'm gonna pull that pull that out just keep coming on around someone was asking me about this pattern and I said I will uh, sit down at the machine uh, when I get a chance so you can see how this works up. I think it's pretty nifty. Um, it gives you more um, breathing space inside that mask. So now we're going to sew the other side. I'm just going to take and flip my material under the foot. I'm going to lift that foot up because I've already gotten um, everything in place where I need it. Drop that down and come on up. Take my pin up. Sorry, I was out of the screen again. I'll tell you what the problem is. My my new cell phone is on a tripod that is flimsy and it doesn't have the strength to hold up this new mobile device. So 
that's what we're dealing with right now is the phone is not picking up this and the tripod is not holding on to this and you see it already dropped down again okay I'm gonna show you where we are there is the piece that we just sewed in I've just sewn in this piece now I'll flip it back around so you can see it sewn in this is what we had pinned and this is that piece that has been sewn in oh my stitches are wonky I'm gonna have to work on that so let's turn it inside out and there you can see that this is the part that will be over your nose this part you will find out here in a minute is the part that gets the elastic in it for your ears but before we get on with that um, I'm going to pin the other side together and we'll sew this side. So we have both sides that are sewn in um, with our little um, mouth and nose piece right here. All of that is done. So let's turn it and join these pieces together here's where here's where the fun starts these pieces that we just sewn together need to be joined up yes need to be nice and joined and I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this under the foot so you can see exactly where we're going with this it's going under the foot I'm going to go ahead and do a start stitching and get it started. And this part right here, my friend, is going to be the nose part. I'm going to put this under here good. Now, did I say nose? I apologize. That's where the ear part is. I'm sorry, this is going to be the ear flap. Yeah, okay, we're sewing. So let's flip this around. And I'm sorry, it's right in your face. And get, I'm not using my uh, camera and tripod, I am using a selfie device. Well, tutorial type device. Okay. Let's lay this down. And get started. I'm not going all the way to the end here. We're going to leave this part open. Right there. That's going to be left open so we can turn this thing around in a little bit. Now we're on the other side. I know I've got stitches up here that need to be trimmed off. Let me get my little snippety doo dolls and take care of that. I'm going to pull um, this up. I'm going to hold on to that and start sewing at the end here. 
line that up a little bit better. And do that. All right, here we've got where we're going to jump over that seam. We're going to close this one all the way up because we will be using the other side to do our turn. I know, it was pecking and making noise. It might need some oiling. Okay, we got both those stitches down in there. Good. Um, I'm going to re-stitch because I see I have some ruffled feathers, so to speak. No, my thread just doesn't want to um, work properly sometimes. I'm going to give it a double stitch. And hope for the very best. Okay, let's see what we got double stitched but at least it looks better okay now now is the moment of truth when we go into this side we're going to turn it inside out clean up some of this mess right here I don't know okay let's turn this inside out Turn that inside out. And once we get this turned inside out, you can see more about what is happening. I got a, I got an iron over here heating up to press this. This is where we did our little turnabout. So, yeah, I got a little push or push this push this edge up here there we go so now we are looking at the mouthpiece this is the part where you will be able to breathe in this mask these pieces are where the elastic will go I'm going to press the stuff down right now give it a good little um, pressing so that we get started on it sorry you can't see me over here pressing down this is where the the gap is i'm getting ready to um Turn that in. There it is. Okay, so this part. Put a thread there. We're going to get that off there this part right here I want this to stay away from the mouth of the person who is wearing it so I'm going to do a little seam where it will stay together and not get in someone's mouth and nose whenever they are wearing it so I want to do a little seam right there, but before I do that seam, we're going to go ahead and put our nose piece in. And the way I gauge which side will get the nose piece is how well they're lined up um, on the other side with this one. I think it looks pretty good. Might have a little bit of 
from a ridge right here. But this is where the bridge of your nose is going to be if you're wearing this mask. I think I'm going to go in this side. It looks a little more smoother. And you just take your, um, find your spot where your gap is. I believe it's, oh boy, I did that so good. I can't even find it right there. I'm just going to put the nose piece up in there. And so, just going to put it in there and do your little sewing so that um, whenever you put this on, especially if you're wearing glasses, you will not have a problem getting um, your glasses on and getting your mask on above your, uh, below your glasses. So. You just get your little metallic piece, or I, mine's a bread twisty that I bought from Amazon, uh, and you just sew a little channel for that right in there so that you will be able to put that on, pinch that nose piece down, you can see it, you can see it right there make sure it's down to that end and down to this end pretty close pretty close guys I've just about got it where I need it to be and then you just put your material in the machine and you can see where you're wanting to start and I have this guide okay I have a guide and the device is too heavy to stay on here but this device right here will guide me so that I will not sew over that nose piece and have to change my key at change my needle out so this device will guide me as I sew all I need to know is that I'm not running over that nose piece so just keep on moving up with that sorry this is probably not the best video on mask making that you've ever seen um, but I am constantly working on trying to improve my the quality of the mask that I make get that all the way over there where it needs to be you have to feel for it making sure that when you sew you're not going to be over here sewing in the wrong spot make sure I've got my yep yeah. it right on down the line. Just keep going. Go to the end. I'm just going to pull that up and you can see where that nose piece is. We're going to turn this piece around and just going to finish that off to the end. Line your thread up. And we're just going to come all the way down to the end right there back it up and then you're done with your nose piece and this is um, a very secure little metal um, and plastic strip that's going in here and then we're going to work on setting this up so that whenever you put it on you're not going to be dealing with it um, getting on your nose I want everything to be secure here 
okay so you'll see you'll see how that turns out we're just going to put a seam up and through here that will connect we've got our little seam on each side here to keep that from moving and now we're getting ready to do our ear pieces so I've cut my elastic this can be um, uh, knotted to fit it is not um, any particular size I, I know that it's definitely more than nine inches uh, because I measure from here to here and I've got a little extra for a knot so mm, what we're doing now is we're going to turn this just turn it over no hemming or anything necessary because this is the folded edge from earlier and I'm just gonna fold that over and do our stitch this is where the elastic is going to go Sorry guys, I've got some rebellious bobbin thread. This is where the elastic is going to go up in here. And um, trimming off these edges. And here is our beautiful and elastic this is this uh, spaghetti I call it the spaghetti elastic and I have made myself a bread tie that is going to thread this through for me so just get that set up and ready just thread it through Get it in there, both sides. I'll look at it and say, oh, which side is uh, wider? If there's a wider side, then it gets the it gets the threader. <laughs> yes, it does, and you just keep going until you're coming through the other side. No. Tr don't give us any trouble over here just keep going and you'll you will come against uh, resistance there's always some kind of resistance in the world of sewing or anything else so I'm gonna put this up in here and try to um, help this come right on through there shouldn't be any reason why it's not coming on through because it is not closed up right there seriously yeah that needs to come right on through the gap 